So in this lesson, what I would like to do is teach you how to estimate the answer to a multiplication question that has decimals in it. So the answer to a uh, multiplication question is called a product. And in this case, what we're looking to find is the mass of eight ping pong balls that has that each have a mass of 2.73 grams. Now, we're not really interested in finding out the exact mass. What we want is an approximate mass. We want to get an estimate. So, using a strategy called front-end estimation, and this is the easiest form of estimation using decimals, what we would do is we would simply take 2.73 and we would ignore the, the numbers behind the decimal. So rather than 2.73 grams, we would say that the approximate mass of the ping pong ball is 2 grams. And then we would multiply that by 8 to get 16 grams. Now this is an underestimation. because each ping pong ball weighs 2.73 grams but we used a mass of 2 grams to represent each ping pong ball so it would be an underestimation the total would be more than 16 grams but 16 grams is an approximate amount for 8 ping pong balls the second way that I would like to show you to estimate using decimals is to use something called decimal benchmarks. To do this, we would look at 2.73 on a number line. So if this is our number line, and 2 is here, and 3 is here, 2.5 would be approximately here. Then 2.7 3 would be approximately here. And we can see that 2.73 is closer to 3 than it is to 2. So using decimal benchmarks, we would round up 2.73 to 3. We would then multiply it by 8, because we're looking for the mass of 8 ping pong balls, and we would find a total of 24 grams. Now, this is an overestimation because we rounded 2.73 up to 3 grams and that would result in a higher total mass.